What's up my YouTubers? It's Jennifer and I'm coming at you with a video of some sort. If you notice my background, I kind of tried to put a little fun thing up so my viewers don't have like this boring background that I usually have or me just sitting on my pillows because yes, I always film in my bedroom. Um, uh, first off, I hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell because my few subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I mean, we all have to start somewhere, so thank you so much. And pass this video along. But basically, this video today is going to be about my weekends in jail. Like how the process works and what I do. Um, I don't know how informative this will be, but this is just what I do. So basically, to start off, um, I meet with my PO every month. Um, usually I set my weekends up, weekends, up, um, when I go in, like, okay, I meet with her this month, at the end of this month, so I will set up my weekends for October and November. I set them up for two months in advance because I like to just have that two months to kind of set it in stone. Anything over that, you never know what's going to happen, and anything less, then you have to go back in the next month and redo it. I'd just rather do it two months in advance. So basically, I don't know about all counties in North Carolina. I don't know about all counties all over the country, but um, or different POs um, and different probations and how you can, excuse me, um, how this all works. For me personally, I can choose whatever day I want to go in. I can choose whatever time I want to go in. Uh, so I choose Mondays and Tuesdays because those are the slowest days at work. And I go in at 9 a.m. on Monday and I get out 9 a.m. on Wednesday. So basically what I do is I get to the jail and I go up to the little lobby area and I check in. Basically you go up to the counter and you say, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. And I'm checking in for my weekend. The guard usually asks, not the guard, the officer usually asks, hey, what time are you supposed to be here? I say nine and you have to be there at 9 a.m. or whatever your time is. If you are one minute past, they may not let you back. Um, they usually don't. And so I have a funny story about that. I can always add a different video to that. Um, anyway, so basically you check in and then you wait in the lobby area. You could be waiting anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. It just d d varies. Um, while I'm waiting, I put my stuff, like my purse and my cell phone, I turn my cell phone off and I put it in the locker area. Um, and then I just wait. And it's so freaking boring when you have to wait more than 15, 20 minutes. It's like you want to just go to sleep. Um, so basically you get the, um, another officer comes back and you go into the little lobby area and they pat you down and you can bring in clothes or you can bring in anything white. Basically you can bring up to two pairs of white socks, two pairs of boxers, um, two t-shirts, uh, two white sports bras. I don't know if the you have to have white sports bras. Um, I just, I have one that I bring in every time. And I don't know how, exactly how many items you you can bring, bring in. I just think I bring in one of everything. You do not have to bring in white socks. You can bring in any color. I just bring in white because I just figured everything has to be white. Um, but basically, you get patted down. They check your mouth, make sure, you know, you don't have any weapons or um, what are those things called? Those um, sharp box cutter thingies underneath your tongue. You shake out your hair and then you go into intake. And then you wait. So if it's your first time doing weekends, basically what you do for your first time is you have to get your fingerprints, you have to get your photograph, you have to do all of your tattoos, all of your um, piercings, you have to log everything into the database. For me, who does weekends like frequently, I all I have to do is sit down and then I sign my property, which is basically any clothing that you are wearing is your property and you sign that into their system so that way you can check or sign it out when you leave. Um, basically, you're sitting at intake anywhere from, again, um, 10 minutes to like two hours. It really depends on the nurses. It depends on how busy intake is. Um, it depends on how busy the nurse's station is, if there's a code red. I mean, it just depends. And again, you're sitting there like so bored and so tired. 
But basically, you go into the nurse's station, you get weighed, you go over your history, if you're on any medications, if you're suicidal, if you're homicidal, if you feel like you're going to get sexually assaulted by anybody, etc., etc. I will say this, for anybody who has to do weekends in jail, or anybody who accidentally breaks the law, and yes, I say accidentally because nobody plans on breaking the law, let's just be real here. So... Do not ever tell the nurses anything to indicate that you are, like, depressed or, like, overwhelmed. You might feel like total crap. I mean, you could be having the crappiest everything in the entire world. You could be overwhelmed. You could be stressed to, like, way up here. Do not indicate that you are overwhelmed in any such way. Because if you indicate any which way that you are overwhelmed, depressed, or anything stressed out you can say you're stressed but don't heighten it because they will instantly put you in green and green is basically suicide watch and you do not want to be in green because then you get a turtle suit and those suck um so anyways basically after you're cleared from the nurses then you get changed out um you get from your street clothes to the jail clothes and you can put on all of your white items that you have underneath your jail clothes then you get your little bag full of all of your linens. If it is your first time, it is really confusing because um, they do not escort you to the unit that you are going to. You basically, They basically tell you to follow the signs. And sometimes, I mean, the signs are very idiot proof, but if it's your first time, it can be kind of scary. So basically I get my bag, I wait for the clearing that says, okay, I can go, go back to my unit. Um, when I get into the unit, I hand my folder to the officer. Um, whether you are First time or a hundredth time, always ask the officer politely if you can get a book or a few books. Be, as soon as you hand that folder to them, ask them for books because honestly, you will want books. It is so boring in those cells. You only get out like for meals and then for rec twice. So, and if it's your first time, I think you have to be in there for a certain amount of um, days before you get into general pop, but and I can't remember that for sure. But anyways, so I ask for books and then I, t I usually take like two or three. I don't read them in two days, but I take two or three. Then I get up to my cell, I make my bed, and depending on what time I get back there, I can have anywhere from like 45 minutes to sleep, get a good nap, or I stay up and read because I have 10 minutes to lunch. Then I eat lunch and then that's after lunch. This is Monday now. Um, after lunch, I go to sleep. Um, Oh, back up. When I do get in my cell, the first thing I tell anybody who's in there, if I have a roommate, I say, hey, you know, I'm your weekender. I'm only in here till Wednesday. So I'm quiet. I sleep. I like to sleep. So I won't disturb you and you won't disturb me. But I'm just telling you right now, I'm going to sleep these two days away. So that's just me because I like to be courteous and I like to let them know that, yes, don't talk to me, basically, because I want to sleep. So then... Um, I totally lost my try thought. Okay, so then I sleep till dinner time, and then I wake up, and then after dinner time, I try to read a little bit, but then I'm usually too groggy, because let's face it, to be honest, I take two over-the-counter Dollar Tree melatonin pills before I go in, so I can knock myself out on Monday, and I try to stay up as late as I possibly can on Sunday night, so that way I can sleep those two days away, because those are honestly my two sleeping days. Whether I actually sleep, but well or not is a questionable thing because I mean it's jail I mean it's loud it's it's jail anyways so Tuesday morning so this is what happens um, on an everyday basis basically lights go on 5 a.m. then it's shift change and then as soon as shift change happens it's breakfast I skip breakfast to be honest you have bottom tier gets breakfast and top tier gets breakfast um, then right after breakfast it is cleaning your room time and um, if I'm nice, I will get up and clean the room for my roommate because I figured they're stuck in there for longer than I am. Sometimes I really don't care and I could just be that person. But then after cleaning the room time, then it is morning rec. It depends on which tier gets rec time. I sleep, basically I sleep through breakfast until lunchtime. Lunch is usually around 11.30ish, give or take. Um, and then Tuesdays is canteen day. So after lunch, um, usually canteen comes. 
and that's when everybody normally gets coffee and goes on a sugar rush and coffee rush which the unit that I've been put in lately hasn't been that loud which is good or maybe I'm just really tired and I can sleep through everything um oh yeah by the way they keep the lights on like all the time and I always sleep with either my towel over my eyes or um my gel pants over my eyes because I hate I can sleep through noise I can't sleep through light at all but um I basically sleep like I said after lunch um I read for a little bit and then I try to read until I can't keep my eyes open then I fall asleep then it's dinner time around 4 30 ish then I stay up to read and then it's shift change around 5 5 30 something like that and then um Tuesdays they usually pass out razors um I don't get one because I don't need one uh that's for top tier um there's different days where people do laundry etc etc i can do a whole nother video on everything um jail related if you guys want me to i might just do it anyways just to kind of give you guys a insight on new hanover county wilmington north carolina's jail system yay anyways so i basically read i try to read until lights are out um after dinner i try to um usually i do pretty well i might take like a good hour nap somewhere in there but usually I'm pretty good at reading until lights are out. Lights are out at 11 30. Um, then again Wednesday same thing you know lights on at five shift change breakfast. I usually know that as soon as um, we clean our rooms and as soon as morning rec starts that phone will ring and the guard will tell me the CEO will tell me hey pack up your stuff and I know it's time to leave. So basically I wait and I wait and I wait um, every time that phone rings because the phone can ring either once or it can ring a thousand times. There's people going to court, there's people going to medical. Every time that phone rings you think it's for you and you're just waiting to get out. So anyways, um, basically I pack up all my stuff, tell my linens in the dirty linen pile, take my bag, take my folder, go back up to intake, sign the um, papers that basically say hey I'm fine you know release my property basically talk to medical say no I'm not suicidal no I have no questions etc etc I get changed out and then sometimes you have to wait an intake until it's time to be released into the world or you just go back into the world and that is pretty much what my weekends are like and then I do this seriously like every Monday and Tuesday um for 48 hours it is hard um, as of this Monday coming up, which will be the 16th, I think, September 16th coming up, which will be like tomorrow because um, I'm uploading this video duh, today, which is Sunday or on Sunday, whatever. I'm recording this on a Thursday. I'm uploading it on a Sunday. My point is, um, as of Monday, I think I have 42 days left. And if you have not seen why I have so many days, then that's another video. Um, please go watch that video. But anyways, um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if you would like me to do a video on exactly um, what goes on um, throughout the day, like classes, etc., etc., I will do that video. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like this video. Like I said, please please like comment and share this video please subscribe please hit that bell i'm trying to get better at uploading videos every sunday unless i have a video that i need to upload right away then i might skip a sunday unfortunately um, but i just wanted to give a little heads up so you guys stay awesome bye